Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I woke up feeling like I wanted to play with a little bit of color and this is what I created. I used some purples, which is crazy for me. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of purple, but I think this look turned out really, really fun. And I really hope you're going to love this video. So before I show you how I achieved this look, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. Okay, so here's the look we're going to be creating. Hopefully I remember what steps I took. I don't really remember, but we shall see. Editing me here. The glitter on my false lash is pissing me off. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see all of the glitter, but if that ever happens to you, just take a spoolie and just try to get it off. And then if there's anything remaining, just take a liquid black liner and just cover that up. I'm mad at myself that I didn't see it. It's bothering me so bad. Um, the first thing I used was this Burnish Ultra Matte Gel Liner from Melt, just as the base. I'm gonna be taking this Royal Langnickel Line Brush, the BMX 498. And I'm first gonna start off like a normal liner. And then I kind of took it higher than my crease. And I'm just taking a little bit of that. It doesn't matter if you kind of mess up because this is just going to be the base of the look. And then I'm going to cut through like this, like a little curved angle. And then I'm going to switch my brushes. This is a ColourPop E10. And I'm just going to blend this as much as I can. And then I'm going to fill in that little area with like full opacity right here because this is where I want the most depth. And then I'm just going to switch over to a smaller brush. This is just like a little art brush. You can tell I'm concentrated when I start to talk a lot slower. <laughs> And I also brought that into the inner corner right here. And then with that E10 brush, where the heck did I place it? Oh, right in front of my eyes. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of blend on the lower lash line, kind of halfway. And I'm also going to kind of blend this edge as well. These melt liners are so nice because they kind of act just like a cream shadow so you get a lot of playtime with them so that's pretty much the base of the eye now I'm going to start incorporating some shadows and please just use whatever you have because I'm going to be using a lot of one-off shadows from palettes or singles I'm gonna take my ColourPop palette here and I have this one shade here called the going steady this is a Royal Langnickel smudger I believe yeah the smudger and this is kind of a similar color to that gel liner. So this is just going to make it look a lot more softened. Whenever I do these types of looks, everything disappears right in front of my eyes. Like I don't understand where the hell that I put my gel liner. This is a very tiny brush. It's a BH Cosmetics number 11 brush. And I just picked this up because it was the one right in front of me. But I kind of blended a little bit of this liner into the crease just a tiny bit and I'm gonna clean up this little portion with concealer before we put on some shimmers and stuff so it doesn't matter if you over blend or make little mistakes like I have just done but now I'm going to start incorporating the shadows so I'm gonna continue with that color pop shade now I'm going to start incorporating some pinks for some more dimension this is a color pop shade in Fair play. So it's like a nice pinky tone with a little bit of purple in there. So I'm just going to dust that on. And I'm just going to kind of bridge this gap as well, just very lightly. And I'm going to add the more neon pink shade. This is Sandbar from ColourPop as well. And this I just really focused kind of in the midpoint right here because I did want to add a little bit more pink to this look. I didn't want it to be full purple. And I believe I also brought it a little bit on the lower lash line. 
Same with the other shade, the Fair Play shade. I also grabbed a few pinks from the Fun Size palette from Sugar Pop, from Sugar Pop, <laughs> from Sugar Pill. Oh my goodness. Um, level up the middle one, and I kind of placed that in here. I guess it's not like necessary, but that's what I did. Now to deepen it up, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of a black shadow. I'm using Bonnie from the Gemini palette, but you can use anything. It was just the closest palette that had a black in it. And I'm just going to kind of deepen up the outer corner. And this will kind of tone it down as well. Because right now these look very different from each other. Um, but I just kind of added it in this general area. Right on the outer portion of the lashes. And now I'm just going to take a little concealer. And I'm just going to clean up that little area right here. Before we move on to shimmer shades. And I wanted it to be a little bit more crisp right in here and not as crisp in the inner portion here. So now that the concealer is still kind of setting, I'm going to add some of this uh, highlighter, but I use it mostly as a shadow. It's the Melt Illumination highlighter. I'm just going to apply it with this Smith brush, the Smith 253. And I'm kind of putting it on the outskirts of the cut crease just because I like the dimension that it gives. It looks kind of neat. And then I'm going to dampen my brush. And then I'm going to take this MAC. It's a glitter reflex red. This is just a little sample I have. And then I'm going to kind of scatter it all over this area. And then if you want to knock some of it off, just take your fluffy blending brush and it should kind of go away. And now for a really fun part of this look that I really loved is I took this highlighting palette from Pat McGrath and I used this pink shade right here and I took it on a highlighting brush. This is the Moda Pro Glow and I really doused my brush in this powder and I used this kind of as an all over highlighter. So I just kind of went all over the look as well Kind of on the brow, I just wanted to fluff it on in this general area and it just makes it look so much cooler. Then I also put that as my highlighter as well. I have to fix the inner corner. <laughs> I'm just going to take some concealer on a little brush and just fix this area right here. It's not looking so great. <laughs> And then I'm also going to take that Pat McGrath highlighter and use it as my inner corner highlight. So I just kind of pressed it upwards. And this is a Fenty Beauty Precision brush, by the way. So I just kind of stamped it right there, kind of over that little inner corner detail, and like straight up into this little socket. I'm also going to intensify that right on the brow bone. So now before mascara, I'm just going to double check that everything looks good. Yeah, I really like... Oh, one thing that I forgot. Good thing I checked. I used a little bit of this Pat McGrath shade from the Mothership Midnight Sun. Is it Midnight Sun? This one. This really pretty glitter shade. I just kind of tapped my finger in it just to grab a little touch of it. And then I just kind of pressed it on top of everything just for some scattered glitter. Pretty. And now I'm going to quickly add some mascara and some lashes and I'll show you the final look and then we'll do the rest of the face. So here are the eyes all finished. Look at me wearing purple eyeshadow, who am I? So now it's time to add some more dimension to my face. I feel very flat. <laughs> I'm going to bronze up my skin with the airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. I use number two medium and I'm going to be using my brush here. Where did it go? Brush, where are you? It's the Moda Pro Angled Blush Brush, but I like to use it for bronzer. For blush, I have no idea what kind of blush I should use. Definitely something more pink 
I really like the placement of the highlighter. I feel like it made it look a little bit more editorial instead of just plain like Instagram style. I want to have something a little bit more glowy. So I think this blush from M Cosmetics will look really nice. Kind of goes with the tones. It's the Soft Amethyst Serum Blush. I saw on Instagram that they're launching more shades. So I'm really excited to see what colors they come out with. So I'm going to use... Oh yeah, that's a nice color. I think I'm going to try to blend it out with my fingers first. Oh, I think I applied too much. <laughs> okay, I think my lighting is a little bit too bright. Let's see. Yeah, now you can see the colors a little bit more. Now the challenging part is deciding what the heck lip looks good with this look. Probably something a little bit more nude leading. Leading? Leaning? <laughs> Uh, hello? I'm just gonna go figure that out off camera. I think a combo of a pinkier leaning lip liner and a more nude gloss will look really nice with this. We'll test it out. If it's horrible, I'll wipe it off. So I'm going to use this lip liner. It's MAC Soar. And this is one of the new Nabla glosses in the Shine Theory lip gloss, but this one is neat because it's just a flat color. And this is in the shade District. It looks very like concealer lip looking in the, in the tube, but once it's applied, it is so pretty. Maybe it doesn't suit this look. <laughs> Never mind. I added a little bit of this House Laboratories Rip Lip Liner in the shade Arc, and I just kind of and I words what are they? And I just kind of rubbed it in the gloss here, kind of matches the tone a little bit more, made it a little bit more mauvey. I think that looks better now. So here is the look all complete. I really really enjoy it. I really hope you enjoyed watching me play with a little bit of color. I want to do this more often. I really like how this one turned out. I love this little detail here. I think it's such a unique shape. Let me know what else you would like to see from me, but that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the things I used in today's video in the description down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.